It adds no color, is super absorbent, effective longer. Wally? Thank you, Johnny Olson. Boy, what a bright, alert panel we have today. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to give you one more chance. Let's meet our next challenger. Would you enter and sign in, please? <laughs> Louise Woodruff. Mrs. Woodruff, where might you be from? Schenectady, New York. Very good. Oh, you have some friends here, too. Panel, may I tell you that Mrs. Woodruff deals in a service, and now let's show the audience just what her line is. May I remind you, please, panel, that Mrs. Woodruff is salaried. It's a service you're after, and we'll begin with Jean Rayburn. Mrs. Woodruff, is there a profit involved in performing this service? Yes. Do you perform it uh, equally for both men and women? Yes. Would anyone on this panel be likely to avail himself of this service? Yes. You think I've availed myself of this service lately? Yes, I think so. How can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> Is it uh, contributory to one's well-being in any way? Physical well-being? Yes. I think on that we really ought to give him a no, don't you? All right. Okay, one down, let's go he to Gail Shelton. He talked you into that. He talked you into that. Well, it's a very moot question. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Show. Woodruff, would I come to you for this service? Gail, may I say that I don't think that would really apply in this particular occupation. It would not, it would not apply. It would not apply. Uh, her coming to you or you coming uh, to her. Would we not. don't have to have any contact with each other then, unfortunately. Um, in performing this service, is there anything instructive about what you do? Yes. Sometimes. 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 Do you give any type I of advice? Type of advice? Um, in a way. I guess, in a way. Would I look better after I'd availed myself of your service? No. No? That's too darn. I can't imagine you looking better than you do now. Oh, Word contract. Very nicely said. But would, would, would you look worse? That's what you in. <laughs> would you like to try the question, no, sir? <laughs> are, you, are you asking that? No, uh, but, but you're dealing in a service that gives advice of some kind, some kind of instruction now. And we don't have to come in personal contact with you. Is that right? In other words, you would not have to That's touch me. Side. Yes, that you would not. That is correct. Yes, you would not have to touch me. Um, then would you do this on a... Would you possibly do this on television? Yes. Uh then you have a program on television and you give advice of a kind now would you would you be <clears throat> excuse me would you be a professional lady of some kind yes yes could you possibly be so. uh could you possibly be an md an md no 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 that's three down arlene uh uh do people watch your program and as a result uh, know whether they should go out or stay home? Do you have anything to do with the weather? Yes. Are you the weather girl? Yes. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. A steel man. But Mrs. Woodruff is indeed the weather girl, Arlene, and you work for a TV station WRGB. That's right, in, Albany, in the New capital York. district, yes. Uh, isn't it a bit unusual for a girl to be a weather girl? I guess that's about the only kind you can get for a weather girl, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, generally, the job has been filled by a man, but there's no reason why we can't be bright and do the job, too. I agree with you 100%, and I'm sure Arlene will, too. Uh, but how, how do you get your information, Louise? Well, most of it comes by teletype from the Albany Weather Bureau and, of course, from centers Washington, Chicago, all over the country. Some of it by telephone, direct contact for immediate local reports right up to the time we go on the air. Have you made any real blunders? Uh, only one that I think was really bad, the 
uh, meteorologist forecast dry and um, variable cloudiness for the following day. And it was so great because we'd had so much bad weather. And I kind of leaned on it a little bit, you know, made it a little bigger and said it was really Sunny, wonderful bright, to see it. No, nice. but, but wonderful to have an improvement in the weather. And that was the day that a storm hung out in the Atlantic and fooled everybody. And we had three inches of snow the next day. I took quite a ribbing on shoveling the sunshine out of the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, that's the problem of being a weather girl or a weather man. Yes. You're a delightful guest, and thank you for joining us on thank What's My Mind. Much. Louise Woodley. We'll be back to meet our mystery guest as What's My Line continues.